Welcome to Mailbox Monday for March 11th. Um, this is the second time I'm doing Mailbox Monday, and I don't know lately why YouTube has decided that whenever I finish a video, it needs to disconnect and lose the video. But hopefully this time it will keep it. Um, this book, this week I got seven books. The first one I bought, and this is The Runaway King by Jennifer A. Nielsen. This is a middle grade fantasy. Um, the first book in the series was The False Prince, and this is the Ascendance Trilogy, so this is the second book in that trilogy. Um, I love The False Prince. It was an excellent novel. It was really well done, had great characters, had a surprising end. Um, so I'm very excited to read The Runaway King, and I went ahead and bought it because I'm going to probably want to read the series again, and I'm probably going to want to read the series with my son, who is six and who has started really enjoying um, some of the middle grade fantasy series. All right, then I got three books for review. The first is The Scent of Darkness by Margot. I just cannot read that right. Barwin? Margot Barwin? Um, this released in February. Uh, I got this through the Amazon Vine program to review. Um, this is about a young girl named Evangeline who is 18 and her grandmother gives her a gift of a scent made just for her. And the scent drives everybody around her a little wacky. They like desire her and they want to be by her and it's driving her a little bit crazy until she runs into one person who doesn't. And this book is about her dealing with that and trying to figure it all out. It sounds like an interesting concept. It's gotten kind of mixed reviews, um, but I thought it would be a fun read. And it's really super short. Look at how short this is. Very short book. So it should be a quick read as well. Um, the second book I got for review was from Library Things Early Reviewer Program, and this book is called Absent by Katie Williams. Um, this book is about a girl who gets killed at high school. She falls off the roof of her high school in what they think is a freak accident. Um, but they find out, so she comes back as a ghost and she's haunting her high school and she finds out that maybe it wasn't an accident. And so she's trying to solve her own murder as a ghost and trying to figure out what happened. Um, it sounds kind of cool. And again, another really short book. What is with these short books? It's like my week for super short books. There's sometimes I get books where I'm like, holy cow, it's a big book. And this week it's been little ones, which I guess is good because they're quick to read and easy to review. Um, so I'm excited to read that, and thank you for Chronicle Books for sending it. Um, this one publishes in April, and it's young adult. The third book I got for review is not a little book, it's a big book, and this is Written and Read by Ann Bishop. It's the first book in the other series. Um, this is a new urban fantasy series being written by Ann Bishop. Um, those who have read Ann Bishop before know she's most famous for the Black Jewels trilogy, which kind of turned into a huger series because she's been adding more and more books to it. Um, I read the, four, the first four and then kind of dropped it, but I really enjoy the, the Black Jewels trilogy, the first three original books, so I'm very curious to see what she does in this book. Um, I've heard some good things about it so far, and so hopefully it will be a great read. Then I got three books from the library. Oh, I should say this also releases in March, so it might already be out. I think it releases the beginning of March. I got three books from the library. The first of those is House Rules, which is the seventh book in the Chicagoland Vampire series by Chloe Neal. Um, this series, I don't know. I listened to the first five on audiobook. I love the narrator. There's some like the best audiobooks I've ever listened to. Uh, cold, cold, or cold, what was the last one? Cold Bitten or whatever. Biting Cold. Biting Cold, they changed narrators on the audiobook and it did not work. It was awful. Also, I didn't really like the story that much. So, this is going to be one of those things where I'm going to read this one, I'm going to see how it is, and if it's not good, I think I'm going to drop the series because I didn't like the last book. <laughs> and I also don't like the fact that they stopped making these in audiobooks. So, I like this as an audiobook series, and now they're not even, this isn't even in audiobook right now. So, I'll read it. We'll see how it is. If I don't like it, I'm not reading the series anymore. It started out as a great series around the fifth book I was like what are you doing this doesn't make sense and now I don't really understand where it's going and maybe it'll start going somewhere good but if not that's it. Second book I got from the library is Sever which is the third book in the Chemical, Chemical Garden trilogy by Lauren Stefano. and this has been a really interesting young adult dystopian series um, it's about a girl named Ryan who grew up not really grew up she ended up in a house of sister wives to this rich young guy. 
And in the world that she lives in, which is our society in the future, there's a virus that's killing all humans in their late, well, in their early 20s, late teens. Um, so Ryan escapes from her house. And she is trying to figure out kind of what's going on with this virus and how to make a life outside of being a sister wife. Um, this has been an interesting series. It's an interesting concept for a dystopian novel. And I've been enjoying it. I'm excited to see things how, how things end up for Ryan. The last book I got from the library is The Indigo Spell by Rochelle Mead. And this is the third book in the Bloodlines trilogy. Um, this has been an interesting series. It's an offshoot of the Vampire Academy series, and it follows Sydney, who is an alchemist. And I've been enjoying learning more about the alchemist. Um, I don't like Sydney quite as much as I like Rose, but she's still a really interesting character, and they've got a lot of really interesting um, supporting side characters. And I am excited to read it because Rochelle Mead always writes really solid books, so she's a good writer. So those seven books were what I got for this week. Um, I'm getting ready to go on vacation, so I'm excited about that, and I'm really excited because we got like nine inches of snow on Monday, and that totally sucked, and I'm just excited to go somewhere warm. So I'm going to be somewhere warm, and hopefully getting a little bit of reading done, but probably not as much as normal, because I'm going to be doing lots of fun stuff too. So I hope you guys have a great week, I hope you get lots of great books, and I will talk to you next week.